Israeli troops are going from building to building in Gaza looking for tunnel entrances where they believe Hamas commanders may be hiding. At the top of the most wanted list is Yahya Sinwar, the leader of Hamas in Gaza. Even as the top leader of Hamas is Ismail Hania, who lives in Qatar. For the Israelis, their main target is Sinwar and there is a good reason for it. Five years ago, it was Yahya Sinwar who, through various intermediaries, let the Israelis believe that he was now no longer interested in waging war and would instead focus on governing Gaza. Israelis were taken in by the ruse and not just pumped in money and resources in Gaza, but somewhere along the way also took their eyes off Hamas's activities. This proved to be a catastrophic mistake as Hamas was able to plan and execute the most deadly terror attack in the world since the 2001 World Trade Center attack. Now, Israelis blame Yahya Sinwar for this as they believe it was he who planned to deceive them. New intelligence reports suggest that he was also the mastermind of the October 7 attacks. In recent years, the military had greatly reduced its surveillance of the Gaza border fence relying on electronic sensors and transferring troops out of the area to guard settlements in the West Bank. In fact, so confident was the Israeli establishment about its under-the-cover deal with Hamas that it devoted more time to focus on Iran and Syria than on its own borders. The Israeli army has reduced Gaza to rubble and now it is going after commanders of the terror group. Israeli forces believe that Sinwar is hiding somewhere deep inside the tunnels underneath the rubble that is left of Gaza city. Born in a poor neighborhood of the southern Gaza town of Khan Yunis, Sinwar 61 helped found Hamas's military wing in the late 1980s as the first Palestinian uprising was underway. He later took on the task of rooting out Palestinian collaborators with Israel and was responsible for killing four of them. Israeli military authorities at the time still operating inside Gaza sent him to life in prison in 1989. While in prison, he learned fluent Hebrew and tried to understand the minds of top Israeli leaders. He was released from prison on October 18, 2011 along with a thousand other Palestinian prisoners in exchange for an Israeli soldier held by Hamas. Gilad Shalit. Sinwar rejoined Hamas at a senior level and by 2017 had been elected the group's leader for all of Gaza, replacing Ismail Haniya, who was sent to Qatar. Sinwar also convinced Israel through the Palestinian Authority to allow Gaza residents to work in Israel. Israeli security officials say some of these workers gathered information that helped Hamas during the October 7 attack. Israeli security forces are now determined to see Yaya Sinwa's end. A Times Online report. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in depth interviews, and explainers, follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.